Hey you guys, it's Jeffrey and I'm at my first job of the day. We've got some commercial carpeting in here. Um, this is just commercial glue down. I mean, it looks like there's some debris from construction or powder or whatever. Um, there is, I notice, a little bit of rippling along here and it's right along a seam. Um, I personally don't carry around tools to do carpet stretching, but um, if I did, this would probably be a pretty easy fix. Just um, It's just along that seam there. You know, you would uh, pull it back a little bit and stretch it back out and lay it down and it would be fine. Um, however, with uh, glue down carpeting, there's some more rippling going on over here. So this looks like another seam in here. It looks like it's in three pieces across the room. That would be another pole and it would probably be fine. Um, I was going to say with glue down carpeting it's very typical if you're doing steam cleaning which I do not suggest to do um, it will cause rippling because water shoots down into the carpets because it's so thin it causes expansion and extraction to occur and basically leads to rippling of the carpets. Um, what we are going to do in here, I'm going to heavily vacuum with our, our Kirby vacuum cleaner. Set that guy down low. <clears throat> and then we're going to go back and do some bonnet cleaning. And we'll run a couple bonnets just to see how much debris tra transfer we're able to get with it. And if we you know, need to run three bonnets, four bonnets, whatever. Um, I usually will run one both sides, check it, you know, for debris in one, you know, a section. If it looks like it's pretty heavy, I try to go over that area at least a couple times. Um, some guys only do it once, and I look at it and, gee, <laughs> you probably should go over it again, you guys. But, oh well. That's me. So, that's today's plan. Vacuum, bonnet, it'll be beautiful. Hey, for those of you who saw the maintenance cleaning one that I did um, going through equipment, um, I had a stinky vacuum cleaner bag. And what I did is I just kind of pulled some of the debris out that dust that had collected in there due to the bag slipping off. And then I sprayed some onslaught in there, which is, you know, onslaught. You can get the pet grade stuff, and it's great for killing any odors caused by pet, pet hair dander all that good stuff but anyways i put that in there and sure enough it just absolutely killed the smell so we are working with a a fresh smelling vacuum today and i'll be smelling for odors i hate odors customers hate odors keep it clean okay you guys here's our final results i'd say that there was a huge transformation Got all that white powdery stuff out of the carpets. They're all perfectly clean. Neutralized, sanitized, deodorized. No longer smells like a musty vacant building. We got some people who are renters coming in. Everything looks beautiful. Um, they're probably going to Maybe I'll grab some scissors and cut that off so it doesn't catch. Uh, go back here. Turned out beautifully. You guys, bonnet cleaning, encapsulation solution, and all this stuff is uh, carpet protected as well. So, you can easily get another 10 years of life out of this carpeting. Uh, thanks for watching. How is carpet cleaning? Have an awesome day, you guys.